Hello, Facebook. Let's see if this thing is working. I'm trying it a different way than usual. All right, there we are. Hello, Facebook. Gillespie from Coffee by Gillespie here. Glad to be with you this afternoon. I've got a couple minutes before dinner with the fam. And uh, we had a question from a customer that I thought was worth answering via video. And since everybody is doing video these days, why not Coffee by Gillespie? So we'll call this the quarantine coffee break. Here's my white Ikea coffee cup. I'm actually drinking a new coffee that we just got in. Uh, which one was this that I actually got in? A, well, let me taste it and I'll tell you. Mm, that's the Brazil coffee that we just got in. That's actually, uh, huh, there you go. You can actually taste the difference between the coffees. And uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about just quickly. Go to gillespie.coffee, our website. Uh, you'll note, let's see, what did I say? This is the Brazil Carmo de Minas Beneficio Presente de Sol. I'm not very good at pronunciation of, um, I suppose that's Portuguese. It says, juicy, soft, sweet, with toffee, lemon, and pecan flavors. And I imagine... As a customer, you might look at that and say, wait a minute, I thought this was coffee. That sounds like uh, candy. Juicy, soft, sweet, toffee, lemon, and pecan flavors. Uh, but you might want to uh, note that coffee itself has many volatile compounds. These are um, acids and oils and other uh, volatile aromatic compounds that are produced when it is roasted. And that's what gives the coffee uh, its unique character. Unfortunately, what happened eh, in the 50s and 60s especially was that some of these coffee-producing countries, uh, Brazil, Colombia, to name a few, they decided to blend all of their coffee together from all of their growing regions, from all of their farms, and call it Colombian coffee. And people want Colombian coffee. Uh, but what we didn't know, or what we forgot actually, is that um, all of those farms had different varieties of coffee. So they all had the Arabica variety, but then um, within the Arabica breed, I should say, there are varieties. That's just one example. But also these farms, they had different um, elevations. They have different um, soil compositions. They might be on different sides, you know, facing of a mountain. Um, the farmers themselves will will harvest at different levels of ripeness. They will process those coffees in different ways. Some would use like a dry process where they leave the coffee cherry out, um, actually kind of rot away. Uh, others will use a wet process or some kind of machine process. Uh, and depending on what which harvest, the early harvest, the late harvest, the coffee can taste very different. Uh, actually, coffee can taste as different as wines, actually even more different than, than, than a wine might. And it's just as sensitive to its processing as wines are. So coffee um, is actually an amazing, amazing thing to drink if you're willing, um, well, to be creative in it, or let the coffee be as creative as it can be and express all of its unique flavors and aromas. So this is actually cooled in the cup quite a bit. I brewed this probably two hours ago and I'm in the basement and it's cool. Um, this is also a great way to taste coffee is to taste it when it's cool and you, you'll get actually um, different components will come forward um, on the palate and in the nose. So again, this is the uh, Brazil. Oh, by the way, uh, maybe slurp it. <laughs> I know uh, you don't want to be too snobby here. It's just coffee. But um, if you if you aspirate it a little bit, like you might with a, with like a whiskey or a scotch, um, you'll get also different uh, notes. So like something like this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really getting the pecan and uh, toffee, and it's very sweet. Uh, none of this has been added to the coffee, and that's actually the question that came to me via email. It's like, well, what are you adding to these coffees to make them taste this way? <laughs> and if you didn't catch it already, uh, and not actually adding anything to the coffee. This is how the coffee naturally tastes when it's been uh, properly prepared and roasted well um, and brewed, you know, in a good way. It tastes good, and it'll taste very interesting and very unique. And every time it will taste different as well. Each harvest, even from the same farm, that each harvest will taste different. So uh, coffee is a delightful, delightful beverage and a delightful plant. 
and we should delight in it. It's a gift to us um, to be enjoyed, to be enjoyed and not, not to be obliterated, um, roasted to the point where you can't even taste what it, where it came from anymore or um, blended with all of the farms and with varying grades of quality um, so that it's just boring. So don't do that. Drink good coffee. So there's my live video. We'll do, uh, we'll do these breaks periodically so that you can uh, learn something new about our coffee. All right. Have fun drinking.